Most have heard of magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. Many have experienced it firsthand. But this technology is now being used at the Stevenson Cancer Center at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center to help enhance prostate cancer detection. In this instance, MRI technology is married with real-time ultrasound-guided biopsy. And this is a particular kind of MRI, not just any MRI. It's a three Tesla magnet with a series of sequences that can show us exactly what the biology inside the prostate is. The MRI is done before the biopsy, and MRI images are evaluated by a cancer center radiologist to pinpoint suspicious areas of the prostate. I'll make sort of a 3D model of the prostate, uh, and then I go through, uh, going through each of the sequences we get from the MRI, figure out exactly where I think cancer is, uh, and then I mark those lesions uh, within that 3D model. That information is then fused with ultrasound images in real time, providing a precise map of the prostate for an extremely targeted biopsy. We know when we're doing the biopsy that the needles are actually going into the cancer or the area that we're concerned about cancer. With the new technology, cancer detection increases by about 20 percent. Stevenson Cancer Center patient, 71-year-old James Grillo of Bartlesville, heard about the new technology and knew he wanted it to ensure he got the best biopsy possible. He's very glad he did. I had two significant tumors in the part of the prostate which is not sampled in a normal 12-core biopsy. Early detection is especially important with the most aggressive prostate tumors, and those are the ones that the new targeted MRI ultrasound biopsy is most likely to detect. We're learning to fine-tune the MRI to learn what really is a very small, subtle lesion that's suspicious. It really takes a lot of training. So it isn't like you can just order this test anywhere USA and expect to get the same result. So I think the people behind it are as important as the technology. James is happy he found the technology yes. and also glad he found the team of prostate cancer specialists at the Stevenson Cancer Center. This is Teresa Green reporting.